How many times have you stepped on a scale and to your surprise, how did I gain weight? Yes, I lost weight. And then seven hours later, you accidentally step on the scale again, I gained weight. How does that happen? Before we get into that, understand that a scale is just one of the metrics that you can use to test your overall progress. I'd rather use a scale than the stupid body fat caliper thing that you hold in your hands and it tells you how fat you are. Those things suck. They don't even work. You should throw them out. Don't ever put your hands on one of those things. Those body fat scanners are useless. If I ever see your hands on one of those body fat tester thingies, I swear to God, I will be so pissed. I don't really get that pissed. Calipers are also very good. Uh, just make sure that you're consistent when doing clippings. Or you can always do a bod pod or a DEXA scan. Those give you good readings as well. The whole point of all this is there are many different metrics or ways that you can figure out if you're making progress in the gym. I'm gonna tell you why you see those scale weight fluctuations. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna tell you not to worry about it. So let's jump into this. Glycogen stores. Anytime that you eat carbohydrates, those carbohydrates are utilized or turned into glucose. That glucose is utilized for energy. You eat carbohydrates. Carbohydrates turn to glucose, which give you energy. When there's too much glucose, that gets stored around your muscles and your liver. And that's what we call that stored form of glucose. It's called glycogen. Here's where it gets tricky. Each gram of glycogen binds with four grams of water. This causes you to retain water, which causes your scale weight to go up. Anytime that you eat carbohydrates, you're probably gonna increase your glycogen stores, which is gonna to bind to the water, which is gonna cause you to have a weight gain. Drinking a lot of water, eating fairly amounts of carbohydrates are gonna cause water storage, which equals gained weight. Before you freak out, this doesn't mean you gain fat. It just means you're retaining a little bit of water, which is okay. You don't get fat from water, but the scale will tell you otherwise. There's a difference between body fat and weight. This can cause you to gain anywhere from two to 10 pounds of weight. Have you ever ate something and gained weight? Pretty amazing, huh? Food. Did you know that anytime you eat something, you have the potential to gain some weight? Did you know that anytime you go to the bathroom, you have the potential to lose some weight? Science. If you ever step on a scale, it's gonna tell you what your weight is. Go have a big Chipotle bowl and step back on the scale you're gonna notice that you probably gained some weight. The food doesn't miraculously just go right through you. It's sitting in you because now you just added some more volume and mass to your body. Same thing can be said when you go to the bathroom, you step on a scale, take a big number two, and then step back on the scale, you probably lost a little bit of weight. So understand that eating and going to the bathroom are also gonna mess up that precious scale weight. Sodium and water retention are going to cause the scale to be a little bit higher than what you may like. That does not mean that you should never eat sodium. Ladies, have you ever had that time of the month? You know which one I'm talking about. You might gain a little bit of weight, which is okay. Anytime that you have your time of the month, it could cause you to gain anywhere from two to 10 pounds with retaining that water. So hormones can come into play when you're trying to lose weight. Birth control, how many of you ever had birth control and you step on a scale and all of a sudden it's up? Another kind of shitty way to gain weight. And there's a handful of other reasons why you could be sick, scale's gonna drop. You could have a night out of boozing with some friends, scale might go up. Creatine could help with some water retention to allow you to gain a little bit of weight. So Dave, what should I do? Great question, didn't think you'd ask. First, you wanna be able to weigh yourself, whether it's daily or weekly, so that you can get an accurate reading. Understand that weight loss is not linear. Because it's not linear, you're gonna have some ups and you're gonna have some downs. But if you track weekly, you're gonna be able to see if it's going in the right direction, which would be down. Or if you're trying to gain weight, which would be up. Next thing, you can carb cycle. So you could have some days where you go higher carbs and some days where you go lower carbs. If you stay too low in carbs for too long, anytime you eat some carbohydrates, you might increase that scale weight because you're gonna be retaining excess glycogen and water. So just to be clear, the scale is a very good tool to help track progress. But do not get super neurotic about it because it does have daily, weekly, monthly fluctuations. But if you're trying to lose weight, just make sure that the trend is consistently going down. Should I step on the scale right now? I'm kind of nervous. I shouldn't step on the scale. Oh, that arbitrary scale number. Regardless of how much you weigh, 
subscribe to this YouTube channel, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below.